hello welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is favor Obaleze, and you're welcome to another episode a new episode of sharing my brokenness as always remember if you have a story to share we have the ears to listen share that story and bless somebody else share that story and let another soul heal from your story so if you are new to my channel please make sure to subscribe and um, hit the notification bell to get notifications whenever i post new videos to my returning subscribers Mwah. thank you very much for always returning to watch so today oh, we are coming to the end of the of my story of my own story and then until after this we go to other stories so today we are discussing the healing journey how i came to the space where i am at peace and i've healed from what happened to me from the trauma from the trauma and all yeah so today i'm discussing the steps to heal the steps that you need to take um to be able to get to that space of a completely healed person of a completely healed survival so without further ado let's get started So, before I delve into the matter for today, I would like to encourage everyone that may have gone through one trauma or another in their lifetime to know that they are not alone, to know that um, they are not fighting this battle alone and that there is help. There is help. You can find, that help is in God. Look around you also. You, found, you, you will find people around you that are ready to help you. So just know that you just had to drop that before we start and um so getting into the steps you need to take to come to the space or to the place of healing i would also want to first say that that journey of healing that journey to that place of being healed can only be taken by the brave and the courageous trust me it is not something that anybody can do if anybody can do it trust me there will be no wounded soul trust me there will be no uh, traumatized adult also but it takes courage it takes bravery and trust me sometimes you don't want to sometimes you don't feel like being these but you need to be courageous you need to be brave if indeed you want to get out of that space of being constantly traumatized by your past experience so okay so the first step to um healing is opening up and i've kind of like i've kind of i i did kind of begin it in the previous video so this is like a continuation <laughs> yeah okay so open up i'll say first open up to god yes god knows god knows what happened to you and all yes but when we say open up it is not just talking about it to people it is also opening up to accept uh to accept help so when you open up to god it is this is you now accepting help this because he is our ever present help in time of need but the thing is are we accepting the help if if uh any help you don't accept cannot work for you so you have to open up to god for him for that help that is ever present to be able to be of use to you because if you don't open up that help is useless to you then next open up to those people that have your best at heart those people that you know they love you you have seen in in their patterns in the pattern of how you have dealt with them these people actually do love you open up to them tell them what you have gone through tell them what you are going through how what you are dealing with because these are the people that will also help you so open up to not just every tom dick and harry don't open up to everybody because yes some people will use it against you some people will look down on you and feel like you are less of a person because of what you went through because of what somebody else's greed subjected you to that some people now go ahead to even victimize you for that that is why you don't just open up to every 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 person open up to those people that would help you heal to those people that are that are um, going to go through the journey 
with you. So yeah, that's the first step. Step number two is understanding that God loves you. You need to understand that God loves you. See, when you accept this love, a lot of things are going to be changing for you. I had to come to that place where I, I began to see God's love. You know, it's easy to say God loves you, God loves me, and oh, yes. It's easy to say, but do you actually believe it? Have you actually asked yourself? Have you looked within yourself to know if you really do believe? that god loves you yeah I would, I would always say then god loves you i'll tell people god loves you i'll even tell myself god loves you but the truth is i never really believed it i never believed that god loved me it was difficult to believe it was i don't even know how to describe it but and I, I i know that others may be able to understand what i'm saying it's difficult to believe that you are loved but you you have to come to that place where you open up to accept that love of God because that love is there that he, he's just standing by the door open so that he will give you that warm embrace that loving embrace so accept the love of God you know in um, in 2017 was when my own healing began yeah for something that happened so long ago my healing started in 2017 so um there was uh, Jonathan McReynolds, I think, released. I don't know if, if, if he released the album in that year. I cannot remember at this point. But there were two songs in that album that spoke to me. It was just like God opening my eyes to it. It was so that song was always on replay, always on replay. It was loving me, and um, I cannot remember the other one, but it's also about love. But mostly the loving me and the part that I actually did love most was the second verse that said um and i know there were days i looked at myself i felt like less of a person compared to everyone else what about this flock too big too small can i exchange and try to make up for where i fell short i let sin slip away but when I look in the mirror and don't like what I see, oh, I just thank you for always loving me. And I know I get that, but you waited patiently, oh, I just thank you for always loving me. See, that song, Loving Me, was, was a big deal for me in that year because... That was the year God started um, showing me that, showing me the love. My eyes began to open to the love of God. My eyes began to open to this, to this deep yearning of God for me. Me, I felt like I was not worthy of that love. So it was difficult to believe that, that God actually is yearning for me, you know. But true, he wouldn't have sent his son if he isn't. So that's all. God just started opening my eyes to his love. I remember I was listening to a message. I cannot remember the message. Clear the title of the message again. I can't remember the title of the message. But it was by T.D. Jakes. And he talked. It was like he was talking to me. He said, I brought you out so that I could help you see. And it was just like, wow. It was just like, I, like every like an echo and i can't remember how many times i i took it back to be able to hear that again because i didn't even understand why i didn't want to serve in aquaibom i didn't want to serve in aquaibom i served in in aquaibom in in uyo city so i did not want to serve there but for some reason i just felt a strong leading to you i just i felt like i was being separated because mm, i can be clingy <laughs> so but that was even towards the middle of the year because i went for my national youth service nyc here in nigeria and you know that this is like a passage um a rite of passage for every graduate in nigeria is a one-year thing one-year program you do once you graduate from any nigerian university if you're going to work in nigeria you have to go through it so 
mine started in January. So uh, towards the, I think around May, around May like this, that was when it all began. Because from January, to, there was a day that I was so heavy in my heart, I started crying. And after crying, I cleaned my eyes. I prayed against fear. And that was it. And the next month, which was, I think, around May or so, these, that I, I just started feeling that overwhelming love of God. I started feeling that overwhelming uh, love. Nothing else I can call it. Compassion. Love. Oh, they overwhelm me. So I started feeling that love. That love that I could not feel, that I could not believe. I started feeling it deep inside of me. And then I just stumbled on that song that I just sang um, a while ago. And I would play this song every time. I would play this song every time. Every time that depression came, I would just play this song. It was just like, you know how all these hypno their hypnotherapy goes. I think, I think they use music in it. But it was just like this was God being my own personal physician because he's our physician. The, he, he was just my personal physician. He was my personal psychologist because this was the song whenever I hit um, that point of heavy depression because it started happening even more often then. Whenever I hit that point of uh, deep depression, I'll play this song and I'll just feel that warm embrace, you know. So, you have to open up to the love of God. That is the reason for all this my long talk. Open up to the love of God because the moment you open up to this love, you would see it's, it's a game changer. It is a game changer the love of God. So it is not enough to hear that God loves you. It is not enough to tell other people or to tell yourself that God loves you. The day that love will begin to work for you is the day you begin to believe in that love. So the next step I took was I stopped seeing myself as a victim. I started seeing myself as a survivor because while I continue to see myself as a victim, I was continually victimized still by me this time around. I continually victimized myself because I kept having this victim mentality. I kept feeling like the abuse continued because it was in my mind. This time around, it was in my mind. So every time it would happen again and again and again in my mind, even after it had stopped. And I continued to feel like I was a victim. But after experiencing, after having this experience of God's love and beginning to accept God's love, I started to see myself as a survivor. I started to see myself as bigger than this. I am more than this. I am way past this. I stopped seeing myself as a victim. So you need to stop seeing yourself as a victim. Start seeing yourself as a, as a survivor. Because you survived. You are no longer a victim. You are no longer uh, 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 that that vulnerable person that was taken advantage of you are no longer that you are a survivor because you are alive today you are sane or you may not be as sane as, as psychology psychologists may think you should be but that you are alive is a big testimony it is a big testimony i just pray that everyone that has gone through this would come to this space where I am of complete healing because I know what you're going through. I know what you're so the things that you're suppressing just so you come out and look like you have it all together, you have it all figured out. So stop seeing yourself as a victim, start seeing yourself as a survivor. The next step, who? This was the one I found the hardest, the most difficult. I did not want to do this, but I had to. And this step was that step where I had to forgive. Forgiveness is the next step. This is the next step I took. I had to forgive. I had to forgive not just the culprit. I had to forgive myself because 
after everything i kept because I, I kept myself in that space i kept myself in that space so the trauma continued because i kept myself in that space not not voluntarily involuntarily by mindset you know but still i i kept seeing myself as i should have gone past it and all that you know you start blaming yourself for for being at the wrong place at the wrong time you start blaming yourself for for not fighting um as you should have you start blaming yourself for a lot of things so as you are forgiving the culprit you have to forgive yourself see it is okay to shout it is okay to cry do it is okay to stop walk around shout scream but after you have done these things you still have to forgive it's okay to break down. Trust me, the, the day, oh, that day that I finally let go, that day I was a mess. I was a total mess. I cried my eyes out. I was in there with, with Pastor Mrs. Ntia and see, I thank God for the, the men and women he put in my life, starting from my parents to all to um those that have acted as parents and that are still acting as parents to me um shout out to pastor mrs Zintia. um the that day in her office I, I i couldn't believe that like i have to go through this no i i didn't want to i did not want to go through it but i had to i cried oh it was a ho ho and it didn't end up I left, after i left her office i went on to continue the crying because i couldn't believe that i have to why why should i forgive this person yes you have read in the bible that if you don't forgive others your own sin will not be forgiven yes we all know that passage in the bible but then it's still difficult to forgive you know so i had to let go because the truth is forgiveness is one of the difficult one of the difficult things you would do especially to somebody that took away your innocence especially to someone that took away your your sense of self that sense of of security someone that has taken away something precious from you it's hard to forgive but forgive is still easier than not forgiving. Funny enough. Forgiveness is difficult. It's, it's hard. It takes the grace of God. But it's easier to forgive than not to. You know, in that same year, <laughs> in that same year, um, Tina Campbell released the song, It's Too Hard to Forgive. And, whew, the song was on replay. Like, it's too hard to forgive, but it's easier to than not to. <laughs> Confused but true. I can tell you from from experience. You know, when I talked in the video, um, I talked. I had I have a previous video. I talked about forgiveness, and I talked about forgiving someone. Yeah, this is someone I had to forgive. So no, there's nothing anybody has done to you that you cannot forgive. Nothing at all. So forgiveness is a difficult thing so like i said forgive, forgiveness is not an easy thing to do but it, it is a step that you must take if you must be free it is a step that you must take if you want to have peace it is a step that you must take if you want to be sane and it takes a strong person to forgive it takes a strong person to forgive it is only weak people that hold things against people i have come to understand that it takes a strong will it takes, it takes a strong person to forgive and the truth is when you forgive what you have just signified is that you are stronger you are bigger than the offense you are bigger than the offender you are stronger than the offense you are stronger than the offender that is just what it signifies and that is that is exactly what it is if you can't forgive that offense, if you can't forgive that offender, you are, more, you, are, you are bigger and you are stronger than they are. Simple truth. Just a simple truth. So forgive. It's difficult, yes, I understand. 
but you have to. I speak to you as your sister. I speak to you as your friend. You have to. You know, as I'm speaking this, I just, I feel like, I feel like crying for every story I have read. It, my heart breaks for every single person I have read their story that this happened to, and even worse. My heart breaks for you, but still, you can't forgive. If you want to be free, you must forgive. You must forgive. And you have to trust God to give you the grace to forgive. Like I said, forgiveness is not something you do by your power. Because the human nature is not to let go of such things. But the nature of God is to forgive. And if you want to get out of that um, situation, that trauma, that depression, whatever it is you want to call it, you must forgive. Like I said, you must forgive the offender and you must forgive yourself. You must forgive yourself. Your, forgiving yourself is one of, the, one of the most difficult forgivenesses you can actually do. It's easier to forgive others than it is to forgive yourself because you, you believe you should have known better, you should have done better, you should have this, this, that. But you must still forgive yourself. must you let go of that offense let go of what you thought you should have done let it go it is done let it go it does not have to have a hold on you anymore just let it go i saw somebody say say i will i, I will never forgive i cross cross this 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 person this that and I like the reply somebody gave her. But I also add to it. You must forgive. You know, um, in this journey, when I was going through the journey of forgiveness was when God started opening my eyes to see that this young man that, this, that um, did this to you has been in one way or another abused. This is, and one of the effects of um, such abuse is that the offended end up being an offender. And I, I think I saw, I saw stories also in the comments that spoke about that. About them trying, that how they would have been um, offenders and how they got caught and all that. I cannot remember clearly, but one of the effects is that the offended go ahead to become offenders. And that is how these things we have seen the rise of it now because a lot a lot of abuse and one person does not abuse one person it's like a bunch of other people anyway it was in this journey of forgiveness that i started to actually see this young and I, I i started to feel pity for this person because it is hurt people that hurt others the nature of human being is that the way i feel i want you to feel like that so I love something, I want you to love it. I hate something, I want you to hate it. I feel frustration, I want... I, I, it's not, it is not something that you think or you desire, but that is just the innate nature of man. I feel hurt. Like I need to see that hurt in, in the next person. And then some people uh, begin to act it out. So for a lot of people, when that nature comes up, you know, they quench it. But for some people, it comes up, they let it. It becomes, it turns from being just a thought to being a desire to see another person hurt. Because the truth is, only a person that has been hurt can be able to hurt another. If you feel joy, you want somebody else to feel that joy that you feel. So that's, that's why I believe, that, that was where I, I came up with that. I understood that it was, I didn't come up with it, no, <laughs> it was the Holy Spirit that taught me that it is hurt people that hurt people. So I had to see his own hurt that has now been uh, trans transferred to another person, me and I don't know any other person and I pray not that there, that there was no other person. But his hurt translated to him trying to 
or him hurting another person. So when God opened my eyes to this, I started to feel pity for him. Even I forgave him and started to feel pity for him and pray that he's saved wherever he is. So the day you forgive the offense and the offender, that day, you will see clearly that a burden has been lifted off of you. You will notice that you are freer, that you can breathe the air even more, that you can talk even more, that you have more peace. That is when you will realize it. That heaviness, you will not see it again. That anger, you, 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 you look for it, you will not see it. That depression, you look for it, you will not see it. But you must let go. You must let go. Now, the last step, after you have forgiven. Open yourself up for God to complete your healing. Because yes, you are forgiving this person. Yes, you are, you are no longer seeing yourself as a victim. You are now seeing yourself as a survivor. Yes, you have opened up to people that are helping you through the journey. But the side effects of these things need to be worked on. This is where some people will also engage the help of psychologists and all. You know, I saw in the comment section where somebody said that God will not help you in this in this, there's only psychologist. Um, I beg to differ because I didn't meet any psychologist. God was my personal psychologist. Thank God for that. <laughs> Saved the cost. Um, God was my personal psychologist. So, yes, you need psychologists, but you need God more because psychologists can do so much. But see, God, uh, God will handle it from the root of it. So the, to that person that said that God, God does not heal um, the trauma, um, I want to tell you that God heals the trauma because he did mine. I didn't meet any psychologist. <laughs> this is not to say if you need to see a psychologist, you should not. Please do. Please do for your mental health. Please do. But know that the psychologist of all psychologists it's still God. It's still God. Open yourself up. Let him work on you. Let him work on your heart. Let him work on your mind. Let him work on you. And you will come out shining. You will come out better than you began. You will come out a diamond. You will come out a gold. You will come out a jewel. A precious jewel. Trust God through this process. See this process? It is God that you need. It is God that will help you through. So trust Him. Trust in His power. Trust in His ability. Because when you trust in him, he will show you what he can do. And trust me, you will enjoy what he can do. So, I'm going to, um, I want to pray with you. If you are going through some kind of depression or trauma or fear or anxiety, whatever it is, or panic attack. I don't care what the name is called. I want to pray with you. Father, I thank you. I thank you for the life of this, my sister. I thank you for the life of this, my brother. Thank you that you have not allowed, allowed what they went through to swallow them. Thank you for the boldness to even speak up. Lord, I pray that whoever it is right now that is battling depression, that is battling fear, that is battling pa panic attacks or anxiety attacks, whatever the medical field has called it, that you bring peace, that you bring joy. Help them to begin to open up to you, that they may begin to feel your peace, 
that they, that they may begin to feel your love that one can't understand. Help them to go through this journey of healing. Take them through this. Lord, you helped me. You can help them also, I know. Help them through this journey that they may enjoy, begin to enjoy your peace, the peace that you give. And they may begin to feel the, 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 the freshness of the air in your presence. Thank you for the work you are doing. Thank you for the work I know that you have begun and you will begin in the lives of these ones. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. I believe you enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And um, share this video to people that you know need to hear this. Share this video to them. And um, in the comment section below, let us continue the interaction. Let us, um, let's speak to one another. I know that I've not really co been commenting much because I've been quite busy. I've been quite busy this period. Um, but I, I promise to change <laughs> so help me god so yeah i'll be seeing you guys in my next video and subscribe if you're not subscribed bye